Hi, I'm Alex. Hi, I'm Chris. And, and we, we are Vegan Heart to Heart. But if you're not drinking any milk, you are not getting any calcium. You're going to get calcium deficient. You're so kind. Thank you for your concern. How do you think the calcium gets into the cow's milk? No idea. What kind of nutrient is calcium? A mineral? And where are minerals found? In the ground? The cows eat grass, which absorbs the calcium through its roots from the ground. Really, all the nutrients we need are plant-based. We just take this extra step of eating animals and their excretions to get to them, instead of going straight to the source. Wow, makes sense. I never saw it that way. Why do you think cows produce milk? They are meant to give milk, that's just what they do. What they are here for, so that we can drink it. That's what I used to think as well before I really started thinking about it. Cows are mammals like humans, right? Right. Human females produce milk for their babies after they give birth, right? Right. It is the same with cows. A cow is pregnant for nine months, just like a human female. She then gives birth and starts to produce milk. And in order for humans to take her milk, they have to take her baby away for whom the milk is intended. What do they do with the baby? If he's a boy, he will either be killed within the first few days after birth or after 16 to 18 weeks for veal. And what happens to the girl cows? They follow in their mother's footsteps and become dairy cows as soon as they are old enough to be artificially impregnated and give birth. The life cycle of a dairy cow is about 3 to 5 years long. Artificial insemination, giving birth, having her baby stolen, being milked and impregnated again until her production drops. She then is considered spent and is sent to slaughter about 20 years before her natural lifespan is up. Her flesh becomes hamburger meat. Oh wow, I always thought staying away from meat would help the animals a lot, but the dairy industry seems awfully cruel. I used to think so too. It would appear that the dairy industry is less cruel than the meat industry, but I don't know about that. I would not like to be repeatedly impregnated against my will, have my baby stolen from me, be hooked up to a violently sucking milking machine and once I'm deemed useless, get killed. That should be forbidden, why do they do this? So that people can buy the dairy products they believe to be essential to their health and grow up to be quite attached to. In order to feed millions of people with dairy products, most cows are kept in factory farming conditions. They spend their whole life of servitude, standing locked up in one place, unable to move. The milking machines hurt the others and lead to infections. And to prevent this, the cows are fed drugs and antibiotics and traces of that end up in the milk. Oh wow, really? If people knew what's really in the cow's milk they drink, I doubt it would sell so well. What's in it then? One carton of milk typically contains the milk of over a thousand cows. The white color comes from the white blood cells in it and it contains pus from the frequent infections the cows experience. Why on earth are they allowed to sell this to us? It contains pus! Oh, it's quite legal. They even declare it and one eyedrop of pus per glass of milk is allowed. Only they call it somatic cell count. Pus and bacteria would sound too gross. Oh yuck, that's disgusting. I'm so glad I realized that I'm not a baby calf. I don't need to drink another species breast milk in order to be healthy. Humans are the only animals on the planet that drink milk way beyond their weaning age. And it doesn't even come from their own species. I never looked at it that way. All other species drink their mother's milk until they are weaned and then they go on to eat their species specific diet. So where exactly do you get your calcium? We need it for strong bones, don't we? Have you ever wondered why we have so many cases of osteoporosis in the western countries? You would think that with all the dairy products we consume we would have the strongest bones in the world. Science has found that consuming animal protein in milk, meat, etc. makes the body acidic and it needs to leach calcium out of the bones to balance that acidity. So the whole milk makes your bones strong claim is inaccurate? Exactly. Only because some incorrect health information is repeated over and over again doesn't make it true. Science clearly states otherwise. I get my calcium from plants that grow in the ground and absorb the calcium through their roots. Fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts and seeds all contain calcium. From, from our hearts to yours, dare to, to share. share. Dare to share definition. Be fearless, be brave for the animals, the planet and yourself. And subscribe, like and share our videos and images, of course. Share who you are, share your truth, ask honest questions and give honest answers. A true heart-to-heart -heart is one of the most wonderful things in life. Now smile. It's impossible to be worried when you smile. <laughs>